Hi everybody, welcome to Do It 3D on this fine Monday, January 4th, and Happy New Year to everybody. 2021 finally here. Exciting. I just wanted to make a little video tonight to uh, share with you guys a little feature that I found in Fusion 360 uh, that I've started using. Um, I'm sure this feature has been there for a while, but I just discovered it myself and I've found it very useful as a way to add text to my models, text or numbers. Um, there are lots of ways in Fusion 360 you can do text um, by importing SVG files, um, importing CAD files, etc. Um, but I just recently found out that there is a built-in method within the software that I can add simple text to my models. So I've been doing some modeling um, over here on, you can see on this um, top left screen here, a little project I'm working on for a customer for some prototypes. And the way I've been doing these, I'm just going to switch over here. The way I've been doing these, these prototypes in the past, or up till now, is so uh, we're doing different sizes, right? So from the smallest size here up to the largest size here. So I've been printing these and I've just been taking a Sharpie marker and writing on the back the size um, of the prototype so the customer can, when they go through them, they know exactly what they are because there's going to be multiple pieces and multiple quantities of each size. So I've just been writing the sizes on the back. And it, you know, it works, but it doesn't look all that professional and that Sharpie will eventually wear off. Um, so when I found this feature in uh, Fusion 360, I decided why not use this feature to make these look a lot more professional and just put the size printed right into the final piece. As we see here, six by six, looks much more professional. It's not gonna wear off. Um, well, I'm sure eventually if it gets dragged along a surface enough, it will get worn off. But for what these are going to be used for, um, that's going to stay on there forever. So, yeah, so that's great. So let's pop over into Fusion 360 and I'll, and I'll show you what I've discovered, which many of you may already know about. But hey, it was new to me and perhaps somebody watching doesn't know this exists and it may save you a little bit of time. So let's switch screens here to Fusion 360. Here we go. So, so you see here, this is the model that I've created here, one of the ones, one of the sizes. Um, and it's a very simple model. For those of you that uh, are familiar with this software, you'll know how simple this was for me to do. I can show you the sketch involved in this guy. Um, wasn't too bad. And I know the, uh, the real good users are gonna look at this and say, hey, you haven't got anything constrained in there. Well, I'm having a little difficulty with these particular models that I'm doing um, with the constraints. And I don't know why I can't constrain this. But I gave up worrying about it because uh, it's not really a big deal for me whether this is constrained or not. The fact is, is when I'm done with it, I get a good STL file that comes out and the prints come out perfect. So we'll finish this sketch. And yeah, so as you see on this one right now, there's nothing on the bottom. It's blank. So what I'm going to do to um, put something on the bottom is let's show that bottom surface. I'm going to create a new sketch. Oh, it looks like I got something left here. I'm just going to get rid of that. I don't need that. So yeah, there. as I said earlier, there's a couple ways. Um, let's create a new sketch first and we're going to create it on the bottom surface of this block. Now there is an option over here to insert an SVG or a DXF. Um, that's an AutoCAD type file. SVG we can get out of Illustrator or any vector program. Um, and that's the way I used to do it. But I've recently found that under Create uh, under the um, create menu over here there is an actual text tool right here so we click that text tool and now it basically wants to know okay where do you want that text placed so I'm just gonna eyeball on the back of this thing actually I can actually even select the whole thing and say that's the area I want the text put in and there we go we have a sample text box here so I'm going to type in here the size of this brick which is 12 by 12 um, I can select whatever font I like. It's going to show the fonts that are on my system, but for the ease of simplicity and for clean print, I keep it at Arial. And I make it bold. And I happen to know I want this 30 millimeters in size, the height of the numbers. And then I know I want to center it horizontally, and I also want to center it vertically so it's right in the center of my block. I click OK. The text is all set. Now I can double click that if I want and I can go in and edit it again. It is editable. It's not uh, 
which is a lot easier than when you insert an SVG for text. Uh, this is a really cool feature that I can easily edit this, change anything I want on this. I can flip it, I can flip it horizontally, vertically, whatever. So we'll do that, we'll finish up the sketch, and let's rotate this so it's in a more better view so you can see what's going on here. Then I'm going to hit my push pull, push pull, press pull option. Um, you can also hit your extrude op option, they're pretty much the same thing. We're going to hit press pull, select the text. Now I want to do a negative number because I want the text to be indented into the piece rather than out. I don't want it to project from the piece. So if I were to do my one millimeter, um, which I'm going to do, that's going to project out from the piece, which is not going to give me good bad adhesion, obviously. So I'm going to do this as a minus one millimeter. And I'm going to say OK. And there we go. So now I have my, oh, zoom in here. So there I have my 12 by 12 indented into the uh, piece. And based on what I did over here, on my other piece, it's going to look really, really sharp. So, and it's going to be there permanent. Customers are going to be able to identify these pieces very easy um, because I do have several different sizes I'm doing. So, and it saves me writing it on with a Sharpie unprofessional looking later on. So, from here, I'm going to save that. It's going to update it as a new revision. There we go. So, there we go. Um, that's just a little quick tip on um, doing numbers and text uh, directly in Fusion 360 as opposed to importing an SVG file. I found it very useful. It works very quick. I can go back in now and edit that anytime I want. I can delete it. I can change. I can change fonts, etc., etc. So that's a really cool tip that I found out recently. And um, you guys are out there that, that have used this software a lot probably saying well yeah that feature has been in there forever or it's been in there for X amount of months but uh, I just discovered it so it's very useful to me so I'm going to slice this up um, I slice these things up in um, Simplify 3D this is the one I use um, and I'm gonna get them printed on my CR6 SE and they're gonna look really nice just like all these other ones did just like all these other ones did here so that's my quick tip for the day guys and I just wanted to share that with you if you guys like this if you have any questions if you have any comments suggestions or anything that uh that i can improve on that i that i missed in the software if you have any um if you can basically tell me what i need to do to constrain that drawing in fusion in, in uh, fusion 360 by all means post the comment below because it's frustrating me why i can't constrain that uh sketch so um but it's working as i say no problem so uh, leave your comments. If you like this, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. I like any um, feedback. It's all good. Uh, give me and give me your honest comments down below. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you want to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe. I do a live show every Sunday night at 8 o'clock Mountain Time. Um, it, it can be a build. It can be printing, comparing prints on printers. Uh, it can just be tips and tricks on any one of the several different printers I have. You can go ahead and check my previous videos and see what you think. Um, they are live, so some of them are long, and you can just fast forward through them to the, to the fun parts. So, And they're guaranteed good entertainment all the time. So any, anyways, everybody, you guys have a great week. Um, have a great day wherever you are, and thank you for popping in and watching this. And I hope everybody stays safe, and I wish everybody blessings for a wonderful 2021. And everybody take care. This is Tim with DeWitt 3D. Tell your friends about me. Tell your family about me. But if you don't like me, don't tell anybody about me, okay? Thanks very much for tuning in. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.